Hi guys! So today is a free and easy morning. So we can go wherever we want and my friends have uh, gone to the mall. You know, but I didn't want to go to the mall because I didn't have anything I wanted to buy there. So I decided I, was, I would go check out uh, one of the places you know, where some people have recommended tourists to go to eat the pork leg rice. The Ovaltine pork, pork leg rice. Yeah, I'll, I'll show that to you in a while. But when I went there, it was full and there was also a line waiting and inside the restaurant it was full. So I decided to just buy it back to the hotel and have it. At the same time, I saw there was a stall nearby selling mango sticky rice. Now, I never tried mango sticky rice before in Thailand. I bought one for myself and I brought them both back to the hotel. So let me show them to you. This is the mango sticky rice. Looking good. Yep, looking forward to try that. And uh, this was supposed to be the pork leg rice, but unfortunately, they don't have it available. Either it ran out or it's no longer available for today. So I settled for second best, which is the wonton mi uh, soup, which looks really good. They gave me some packets. I think this is sugar and spice. I don't, I'm not gonna add in sugar. Right now, I'm about to dig in to this wonton mi and mango sticky rice. So I'll see you guys later. For the rest of the afternoon, my friends went shopping. Now I'm not a shopping guy. If I want to buy something, I do my research on it, I go in, I buy, and I get out. I'm straightforward when it comes to shopping. Fast forward to the late afternoon, we went to Central Rama 9. And what do you know, there's more food. Ooh, those fruits look so good while I'm editing right now. Why didn't I buy some at the time? Mini curry puffs. Oh, these look so good right now. I guess it's true, when you can't have something, you want it even more. Naturally, we didn't leave there empty-handed. We got ourselves a little snack. So you got little C, chocolate, milk bun, and salted egg. These are actually not bad. You can think of them as little buns with fillings in it. Now personally, I prefer the chocolate one. After having this snack, we went to a nearby Japanese restaurant and had dinner. Yes, yes, I know, you might think that, wow, we just keep eating and eating and eating like hungry little baby dinosaurs. Well, one of the main reasons we visited Thailand is to enjoy the food. Our luggage isn't the only thing that got heavier when we got back, if you know what I mean. After this dinner, we headed over to Jot Fair, which is right next to Central Rama 9. Wasn't a good idea. Let me show you why. So right now I'm over at Jot Fair and it's raining very hard. My shoes are absolutely wet. My shoes are soaked. <laughs> Bad day to be wearing sneakers. I should have just worn some rubber slippers. Like it's raining like crazy right now. So here we see a guy taking his shoes out for a swim. These people are killing two birds with one stone because they are walking around while washing their shoes at the same time. Now what is that shadow in the water? I'd like to think it's Godzilla drowning in these freaking deep waters. All you have to do is get naked, lie down, and the world is your bathtub. It's quite hard to take a video here because there are many people squeezing through these narrow pathways while holding umbrellas. Luckily, we have some heroes who came to save the day. Maybe this happens pretty often. So they siphoned all the water to the river next to the Jot Fair. Here's my advice, if you want to visit a night market in Bangkok, prepare a pair of rubber slippers or a plastic bag where you can store your socks and shoes while you walk around and get yourself a raincoat. That night after we got back to the hotel, I had to spend some time drying my shoes with the hairdryer. Now this is the morning of day 4 where I'm going to explore Pratuna Market. Pratuna Market is one of the biggest markets in Bangkok. In this video, I'm going to show you a small part of it. 
If you're ever in Bangkok, you can go explore Pratana Market. Hey guys, it's day four in Bangkok and I just got back from taking a walk, a long walk in Pratunam Market. Pratunam. Is that how you say it? Pratunam Market? Yeah. So it's like a whole maze in there, like a deep labyrinth because if you take a wrong turn, you just get shown into a completely different dimension and you don't even, you don't even know where you're going to end up. So luckily I know where the main road is, the road where I can get back to my hotel. So I got back safely and on the way, I've also got a little bit of a fresh slice of supply for myself and some chicken rice. So I'm gonna have that because I am hungry. Next time if you're ever around here, you can definitely go visit Pratunam Market. Mostly it's women's clothes, much lesser for men's clothes. If you uh, are planning to go buy some women's clothing or stuff like that, definitely suitable because there are so many places I don't think you can finish checking out all the shops in one day if you're going there for shopping. If you're just going there to explore, it's totally fine. So right now, I'm gonna go enjoy my papaya and my chicken rice. And next, we're planning to go to uh, Mukrata. Get some Mukrata and maybe visit a cafe, one or two cafes. And that's the plan for the day. So for now, I'm gonna go enjoy my food and I'll see you guys later. You know how sometimes things don't go according to plan? Well, this is one of those times. We didn't get mukrata, but ended up we got chimcham. Chimcham is where you're served with this clay pot filled with broth, along with vegetables and herbs. And you get to choose whether you want chicken or pork. Now in this video, you see we just threw in the whole chicken meat and all the vegetables, but the right way is supposed to be uh, you put the vegetables in first and once the vegetables are done boiling you put the meat in for just a little while make sure it's cooked and then you put it with the nam chim sauce uh, but we only found this out after the fact so well what's done is done we followed that up with some ice cream dessert and we ordered four different flavors lychee uh, x milk cookie monster and thai tea after the ice cream, we got the equivalent of the Chinese dessert Tang Yuan. We ordered the 11 flavor, well basically 11 types of flavors. So we brought it back to the hotel to slowly enjoy it. We also ordered a cold soya bean curd or some people know it as a bean curd pudding and water chestnuts in coconut milk. Now the bean curd pudding didn't really suit my taste. The one in Malaysia is better. The water chestnuts were okay and the tang yin, well it had a lot of different flavors so I guess you could say it has variety. All in all, we did enjoy the dessert. Now it's time to go back home. Now our flight got moved early. We barely had any sleep because after having that dessert and getting ready to sleep, it was about 1, 1 plus am and we woke up at 3.30 am to get ready and get to the airport by 4.30 am. So right now we're taking the super early flight back to back to our hometown, Malaysia. And well, we woke up at 3.30 a.m. And now we're at the airport. Uh, it's 5 a.m. right now. So we're probably gonna get some breakfast and then get on a plane and head back home sweet home. Once I got back home and unpacked my bags, obviously I slept like a log. And that was my first time visiting Bangkok, Thailand. If I had to choose one main highlight in this whole food trip, I would say the Pang Cha was the biggest highlight because the Pang Cha was the best. The next time I go back to Bangkok, I will do my best to arrange a Pang Cha in the itinerary. That's it for my Thailand trip. I hope you guys enjoyed my sharing of the trip with you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!